Greetings everybody. Today we're going to run through how to produce a bricklaying risk assessment and method statement aka a RAMS for a construction project. Please note that any of the text that you see within uh, this RAMS is example text only and you can modify and add to any of the text or the document to make it as site specific as you wish. So firstly we need to click on the projects tab we need to create a new project and we're going to assign this to our headquarters. The project manager is going to be Dondo and the works manager is going to be Joe Blogs. We're carrying out works under a principal contractor so we're also going to assign them to the project and that's going to be our principal contractor company limited and our contact at PC company limited is going to be Peter Peterson. The project title is going to be example project today and the start date is going to be today and it's going to last for two months. We need to add in here a brief description of the project and that's what the principal contractor is going to achieve with the entire project. That's not what this method statement relates to in particular. There we go, and we need to add an address in here. So let's call this, or let's call it project one. And now let's add the method statement. This method statement is going to be for brick and block laying. We've got most of the details filled out here automatically for us. Let's assign the risk assessments that are relevant to the project. So we click on here and we're not going to add all of them. We're just going to add some examples. So slips, trips and falls, cutting bricks using a disc cutter, general brick laying, brick laying at ground level, jointing and pointing, exposure to hand arm vibration, exposure to noise, lifting of lintels, and that will do for this example. We're going to add the cosh assessments that are relevant. So cement, line marking spray paint, mortar, petrol and silica dust. And we're then going to fill in some of the arrangements. Again, we are only going to fill in some example arrangements, not all of them. First one there is going to be communication. And how are we going to communicate on site? Principal contractor induction, RAMS briefings and regular toolbox talks, delivery materials, you can see there it populates some text for us. And then lastly, as the example, we'll assign the nearest hospital. Now that all of that's filled out, we need to add in a brief description of the method statement, what we're doing on site. And now that we've added that in, we need to add in our sequence of operations or how we're going to carry out the work safely. So let's make this slightly bigger. And let's add from our pre-populated templates. You can modify these templates at your leisure to ensure that they accurately reflect how your company carries out the works. So the first thing we need to do is we need to enter the site. So we click on that there. We can check or uncheck these points or edit them as necessary, but we'll add them all in. We're gonna carry out a pre-start check for asbestos. We're going to deliver our materials. We're going to set out. We're going to carry out some blending of bricks. We're going to add in moving materials. We're then going to bump out our bricks. On this particular project, we're going to be using silo mixed mortar. So we're going to add in the paragraph relating to that. We're then going to add in our general brick laying paragraph. We're going to add in the paragraph for constructing gable ends and also for doing gable ends internally. Going to then add in our finishing paragraph and lastly leaving the site. 
Once all that's done, we're then finished as far as our RAMs goes. We can add in site-specific risk assessments if we wish. We can further modify these particular lines here to make them site-specific if we so wish. So we're ready to print out the document and we use the print button top right. And you can see that the document is produced as a PDF on our desktop. In there, we've got our cost assessments, our risk assessments, and our method statement. If you would like a demo of EOR safety software, please get in contact via our website, which is here at www.eor.app. Thank you very much. For more information, visit our website at www.eor.app.